All right, five light screen, let's go. This guy in the Civic has just been dogging it all day. Starting to see convertibles and bikers out. Um, it looks like our winter is finally over. A couple days in the 40s perhaps, but I see 70s out there, so that's awesome. Um, I looked it up. There's been this warm air thing over Greenland for the last month, which is why we're 30 or 40 degrees. Below where we were last year, where else in the world is there a 40 degree variation by a year? I don't know. But uh, it looks like that's going to break out of uh, Greenland by uh, the 7th of Sunday. So friggin' rights, class is done for this week. It was a pretty short week, it, it rather felt like, but uh, that's good news and such. So I'm headed through downtown Kent. Now this building over here, that uh, used to be a complete trash dump. And uh, I think they're turning it into a hotel or something. Actually, I see it says Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, so they've got a restaurant at the bottom of it. But uh, they have redone that in a lot of this area. When it gets nice and the leaves comes out, leaves come out, I'll probably come down here to Kent and uh, we'll do a little walk around downtown and, and see what all has gotten did. 435 home now. It's um, still 57 outside, I think. It was 56 before. Anyways, fairly nice for, well, average, I guess, for April 4th. Speaking of which, it's April. March is uh, traditionally one of those months that goes either way. Last year it was a June, well almost a June, it was a, it was a May. We had more 70s and 80s in, in March than probably April last year. And this year I think we, we hit that 70 once in the first or second week of March and then we were in the 20s and 30s and it was a continuation of the hell that we went through October, November, December, January, and February. But high hopes for April. Uh, still looks pretty yellowed and, and crappy out here. I've already mowed once. If you remember a couple weeks ago, actually, it was the day we hit 71, I mowed the lawn, really just taking off leaves. But check this out. This is something that uh, we're not used to. It's life. Things grow. You live in a climate where it's hospitable for, for life to occur, and it's actually happening. Which is strange, considering the past three or four nights have dipped down well into the 20s. 23, 24, 25. I saw 24 last night and this morning at 3 a.m. But look at these buds. You can see them, they're there, and they're not down here. At least very few. There's a couple. This is what usually gets all over the place and makes a really big mess, but not too bad. Not too bad. If it doesn't freeze tonight and the sun stays out, maybe a little bit of rain in a week, which we're supposed to get a full week of rain, a uh, week after next, I think, then we're in good shape. So Alex and Razvan are supposedly coming over and hop in the town and get some cheetahs uh, for dinner tonight. That could be nice. Um, I'm going to take a stroll back here and see just how bad the pump is. Every year I explain how we put a pump back here come June or July and it gets hot and then rain for a while and then I water the yard. We have the groom's yard on the street, which is nice. But after a very wet, rough, <laughs> very rough and wet winter, let's see exactly what's happened to the, uh, the pipe and such back here. That's not too bad. Um, Strange, I actually tied it up to that stake there it's coming out of the ground I put in five years ago. I tied it up with uh, electrical tape or wire, duct tape or something, and it has obviously come off. Wire still looks good. I don't think that got too mangled. It doesn't look cracked. So I'll throw some boots on in a few months, come back here and tie a pump up to that. Other than that, it is clear. I mean, it's dirty water, but why is it so clear? You guys can see right down at the bottom, right? That's weird. Probably because it hasn't rained. The uh, settling, it's had time to settle and, and such. Mr. Fox, if you still watch these, all this wood is here. I don't know if you want it or not. If you do, you're more than welcome to come take it. I talked to this guy over here. He said that that pile, that pile, any of the wood on his property over there that's just stacked up uh, is up for grabs. So I don't know the condition of it. I mean, that looks kind of rotted, but this stuff here uh, looks okay. I don't know, it's up to you. Here's the dilemma. We're trying to get Roz and Alex, we just had our, our, uh, our, our dinner, uh, from here over to there. Yeah, or well, I told him we he, he wants to jump. Hey, but show him that. Dollar too. Show yeah, you don't want to, no hurting of US currency. Too. Can't hurt, nice. can't hurt the monies. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's like an ounce of gas. Ingenuity in its finest. We got a log here, or a, a piece of a, log. Is that going to be a good stone? Watch it roll and you just land in there. Yeah, no, it probably will. That's too far. I can't. 
I'm not freaking like lay it down. Any hammer stick? Can, like, <laughs> lay it down that, sideways. Like, nail the other one. <laughs> Don't land on that. There's antlers sticking out of it. You'll get I'm your. I'm just gonna carry you. You punch you a new asshole. Yeah. Well, that works too. Don't forget the log, man. <laughs> Don't forget the log. That's right. Well, guys, I don't know why I wasn't filming before, but we just pushed this tree over, <laughs> the three of us, and now he's going across barefoot, bare, barefoot now. <laughs> don't fall in. Yeah, don't. Please don't fall in. You're good. You're good. You gotta go home in his car, though. So I guess it's all right. Oh God, he's good. I'm not doing that, but he's in gymnastics. Real, real. Okay, I can tell. That is shoes? remarkable. You want your shoes? Chuck him his shoes. You want them? No. 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 We can go in the water. I'm just gonna chuck them. I can go in the water now. Don't throw them in the water. It doesn't have branches. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> it's just like an unnaturally thick rope that you've got to climb in gym, right? We I all guess. did that in eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, more bone? Yeah, Which bones? I don't know. Oh, I love the great outdoors. A femur? No, it's not. That's a skull. Freaking it's disintegrating. You know how dead poison ivy with those lines are. Yep. I'm gonna get on my polo. That's the only thing. No. Oh, it's moving. It's moving quite a bit. Careful, Roz. Yeah, we're watching the top for you. Uh, you come our way if we tell you to. There's a little branch up there that wouldn't. Yep. <laughs> it's like a vine, though. Yeah. Two. You want to just carry him across there? Right? With his balance. It's stable over here. I don't think it's going to go down. It held me. All 139 pounds with me. That works too. <laughs> like the little monkey boy. You look like a frog. You should hop. <laughs> yeah, peel the bark off. Are you sure it's dirty over there? Alright, check this out guys. We found this rope, looped it around this tree, and now we're using it to scale this uh, cliff of all of, you know, 10 feet. But that's actually kind of fun. All right, come on, Alex. Grab onto it and pull yourself up. Just, just do this. Show him, Roz. You All got right. this. All right, he's going to do it. He's not going to do it. Roz, you do it first. You don't need to tie it. I'm not. It was, that's a natural loop. All right. Now pull. Wait. Just walk up and pull. Dude, this is too high. It's like a 90 degree. Yeah, all right. Pull oh, harder. Oh. Pull! Where am I gonna put my feet? <laughs> so keep pulling and you lay down on the moss and pull yourself up. I hate rock climbing, but I can do rope climbing. You wanna grab my arm? Just pull the rope. Alright, Raj, you do it in half the time. Here. Chuck him your phone. Oh. It's good, just moss and sticks and shit. Make it, you gotta pull it real hard. Hold it with two hands like that, yeah. You're Mush. Well, he's barefoot, too. <laughs> he does have better torque, I guess. Throw your foot. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's how that is done. All right, guys, we found that bridge. If you remember, a long time ago, several hundred days ago in the vlog, Ken and I were back here. Uh, and we found this bridge that was probably in service when they put the turnpike in or the houses or something. I don't know, it's made of three steel trussles that are getting kind of rusty. We're gonna take, exercise some caution here and friggin' uh, yeah, there she be. Friggin' uh, we're rumpusing a little bit but it's daytime. <laughs> They're on a truck tire trying to pull Ross through the water. Here, hold on. I mean this is, this isn't, this isn't fucking, uh, how, how long would you say this piece yeah, is? It's too shallow. How long would you say this piece of wood is? Uh, two and a half feet. Two and a half feet, okay. So that, it's a foot that down. gives you about, like, how, an idea. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> a depth idea of how deep this water is. Come on, hop on there, Ross. Hold on. Get. Give it a hop. <laughs> Don't lose the shoes. Is it right. seriously working? It's sinking. It's not sinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
What about me? <laughs> Where am I going? Keep walking, bud. I can't make it through here. Go to get on the tire? No, that won't hold me. We're like the three wild men of the freaking swamp. Except Ryan's the one who always wears a suede jacket. What, what's that swamp name of that show? Swamp People. Yeah. No, this is worse than Swamp People. I've never seen it. Swamp People hunt gators. Oh. This is. That's probably worth like three hundred dollars. Ryan, the show you're thinking of is uh, Dual Survival, except there's three of us. I guess I could be the camera guy. Son of a beach, that's where I'm at. Use it later and it doesn't slow away. <laughs> <laughs> you're washing your clothes in this washer too. Okay, I made it. Here's your camera back, it's still filming. How was that ride, Roz? That was pretty fun. <laughs> well, Alex fell and got mud all over his pants, so we're using a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> he cleaned it up. This is what men do. It's actually working. It now. is working, it looks fine. We don't not, we, men don't know how to use washing machines, so we just vacuum it off using suction. Well, welcome back, guys. It's uh, 1 something, 1 40 ish in the morning. Uh, it's very dark. If you can't tell, I'll walk back into some light. Uh, today was a pretty good day. I got those classes done this morning. Feels like four days ago. Then Roz and Alex came over, and we went rumpusing again. Haven't haven't messed around back in the woods for a while. So that was good times. Good times. When we came back here, uh, Roz and I had to go home. Alex and I. Oh, we watched a movie tonight. A movie that some of you have probably heard of. The Human Centipede. Oh, yeah. Um, sequel one, not two yet. That may or may not be coming this weekend. My God. Uh, if you don't know what it is, search for it on Wikipedia. Google it, find the wiki link, open it up, read the plot. It's quite an interesting premise for a film. Um, not quite as bad as I expected it to be, but it was, it was up there. <laughs> Let's say that. So I know I've got a long video already. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to go pick up a piece from Dave Walter, I think, if that comes in. Uh, anyways, really good day. Um, haven't had one of those for a while. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Hope you're doing well.